Welcome back to a TNT run video and holy crap I actually got this map. That's pretty exciting for me. This is my this was my favorite map to grind on back in the day. Well, I say that like I grinded this game a lot. I only have like was it 250 wins you saw a few episodes ago, so but but hey, you know, it's it's nice. And I'm hoping to be able to get that eleventh double jump too. But I'll have to double my wins to do that. But I have no intentions to ever quit this series. This is my most enjoyable series that I've ever recorded and it's going to be the last one that will stand on my channel. So, no, we have that going. And nobody really does anything like this, like a TNT run talking episode. TNT run talking. You know, somebody commented and actually said that it's really special that I do something like this because, you know, not very many people are, um, are, are doing things like this. Um, in a game like TNT Run. I mean, people might try to do that in Blitz or Skywars, but it's hard to live commentate Blitz and to, um, to actually talk about something significant. At least, I think so. It's hard to concentrate on the game at the same time. Like, TNT Run doesn't require much concentration, at least for me. So, you know, like maybe this old commentary style some people don't like, but I noticed that just even since I, rest since I started uploading these again, that the view count for them is steadily going up, so perhaps that's a good sign that I should um, keep putting a lot of effort into these and making new ones, but like I said, this is the most enjoyable series for me, and really the reason for that is because I just get to talk um, about something that's either bothering me or something that um, I feel like I should talk about either for... Um, either because I want to talk about it just myself, or I think that it's good for me to tell somebody else about it, because you know what, we can all learn from each other, really, and if you ever think you can, if you ever think you want to clarify something, like I said something wrong about someone else, or I said something about, um, a, just a factual thing that's incorrect, feel free to clarify in the comments. And if I think you're wrong, well, we can have a, <laughs> a well-reasoned discussion, too. I mean, I, I like debates. I like debates as long as they're respectful. If they're disrespectful, I will probably just stop responding. But, yeah, anyways. What I'd like to talk about is today looking into the future and long-term thinking. Because I talked about um, my failure to be able to live in the moment before in a previous episode. That I think that was a few episodes ago now. I don't think it was the last one, at least. So, you know, I want to talk about something I'm actually strong with now. Well, not I've always been strong with this. I've always been better at... Oh, great. Okay, what the heck? Okay, never mind. I've always been much better thinking in terms of what the future is going to be like and what I want the future to look like than what now looks like. You know, and I don't know why that is. Because... I hope I can actually live on the moment at some point. You know, like when I meet um, one of my friends that I've met online, like my best friend who I've met online, when I meet her, am I going to be able to live in the moment then? Well, I really hope so, and I'm going to try my best to do so. But anyways, I'm trying to go into the long-term stuff now, so I <laughs> should not complain about the... Because I do enjoy myself in the moment. That happens, but it doesn't have... I, I don't enjoy every day in the moment. That's what I'm saying, and that's what that's what I'm saying my problem is, because I think it's I think it's important to try to live in the moment every day of your life, even when you're busy. You know, just enjoy what you're doing. Don't just mindlessly do it. You know, like, there's a reason why you're doing it. There's a reason why um, this is your vocation, right? It's re it's what, it's what, there's a reason why this is your place in life, whatever it may be. If, you, if you're like a husband or a wife and you're working to provide for your family, then that's, that's what you need to do. And you should enjoy that and you should appreciate that that's what you get to do because I think that's a much better thing to do than um, run a drug cartel. Yeah, that's my, that's my amazing... Um, example of bad hopefully that's objectively bad i mean who even knows the overton window with what people think is bad is pretty weird these days i don't think coronavirus has made it any better but hey it's 
it's whatever. Well, it's not, but it is. Please just die, like both of you. <laughs> I am really dead. How did I make that? Well, it's not happening. <laughs> so my point with living in the moment stuff um, is basically just try your best to enjoy every day. But what I want to talk about, like the roots of this episode and the roots of my thoughts for this is I, I like the idea of planning things, like planning trips, you know, and also being aware of things that you're going to do today and how they're going to impact you in the future. Like, you know, personally, if I'm going to have a relationship with a girl, let's say, then I am going to have a friendship with them first. That is a prerequisite because it's important that you get to know somebody first. You know, and I, I hope that most people would agree with that because it makes sense, right? You already have no you already know them in one way, you're just adding you're you're adding something else to it. You're adding something, I guess, more special to it. And isn't that isn't that good? Like, don't you think so? Because if you don't have a, fr a good friendship before, why would you want to date them? Because if you're going to date them then, are you just dating them for fun? That's what the deal is. And I'll never date for fun. <laughs> I will date to get married. And perhaps that's a bit of a ridiculous thing to say um, from many of your perspectives. But I'm saying that because, well, I guess it's personally my choice. But I don't think it's worth just doing that for fun because you're not gonna eventually settle down unless if you're trying to settle down the whole time like what's what's your line you're gonna be like okay when I'm 30 years old I'm gonna stop dating for fun and I'm gonna date to get married well you need to find the right people because I mean obviously a lot of other people would want to date for fun and that's that's a problem because if you want to date to get married at that point then good luck right and I guess it's partially because of my religious worldview because most of the people in my um, Christian tradition Lutheranism would agree with me on, on that front and I, I couldn't find somebody that would disagree I don't think um, in my tradition so uh, I can be pleased with that um, in the sense that I'm at least like I at least have options <laughs> It's not too uncommon of an idea. <laughs> nice, I won. It's weird. It scares me when I win, as I, as I discussed in that other episode. So, what I'm kind of planning here, and no, it's not based on what I just told you about being friends with who you date first. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about next summer, where I would like to go to a Higher Things Youth Conference, which Higher Things is an organization in my church body. Um, I'd like to go to one of their youth conferences. Well, I'll be 18 next year, but I could still go because the definition of youth is young adult, isn't it? Is it not? Like, it's still acceptable, right? At least, like, maybe if I'm 25, that's not the most acceptable thing to do. But if I'm 18, I don't see why not. I mean, my cousin that's 18 years old would gladly go to another one, and she doesn't seem any different than when she was 17 or 16. Although I didn't really more very well when she was 16 or 15 or, you know, what have you. So... You know, I'd like to go with my cousin, I'd like to go with my friend who would drive all the way here, and then the other friend that I've mentioned before that as my best friend, and, and her cousin would come as well. And I think it would be a very interesting experience, because it would be six of us, like my two cousins, um, my best friend and her cousin, and then this other friend who also knows my best friend. Is this making sense? I'm not going to use names here, because... I don't want to bring them into this. <laughs> Perhaps I would um, if they wanted me to, but um, I've actually never told them about my YouTube channel. <laughs> and I mean, my, my YouTube channel's purpose is not to reveal people's identities. It's to just it's just to enjoy myself and you know play a game that I've enjoyed for years at this point, and um, you know just just enjoy myself playing the game. Because really, it has its place in my life. Because, you know, life gets busy. Things run rampant. That's why I stop daily uploads. If I had 
if I had, let's say, even 36 hours in a day instead of 24, daily uploads would be a lot more possible. But that didn't happen. So, <laughs> that, well, that's not going to happen. But it's okay. Like, really, it's okay. Or if I could live off of less sleep. But even if I could, I'd still think that sleep is important. And I would take that. I, I can't function doing schoolwork or going to work for that matter with low sleep. But anyways, yeah, the conference is possible partially because I will be able to, well, I mean, I hopefully can afford a car by then, but um, I that's not required of me. I, I would just need to pay my conference fee and maybe a couple other conference fees, and then we'll be good. I mean, the trip there will be quite expensive because it's in the US and I'm in Canada. I think it might be in North or South Dakota. That's where one of them is, for example. You know, I live in Saskatchewan, Canada, so you know, perhaps I should not be saying that on recording. Wow, this map too. I love this map as well. So it's it's a conference that would basically enforce what I believe, uh, equip with apologetics, and it would just have some unique experiences with people that we consider like-minded, right? Because you don't always have a church with a bunch of kids your age that live nearby you. That was weird, jump in there. Right? And I mean, I have a few, but none of them really like to talk to me, and they're kind of clicky with their families, so it's not the same as these online friends that I've met that are like-minded, or of course my cousins. My cousins are a lot more old school, though. You know, like, our type of worship is very formal, and, and that's it. That's what makes, like, it's the ancient church, basically, you know, and perhaps you don't like me talking too much about the church, and that's okay. Um, I'll, you know, but it's kind of a bit of the reason why I'm talking about long-term thinking here, but not entirely. Anyways, like, by, by cousins being old school, like me, in the sense that, you know, we all dress the best we can every Sunday, you know, like, my female cousin actually wears a dress every Sunday. You know, there's not very many young girls that would wear a dress every Sunday to church anymore. It Just just how the, the, the trend has shifted, I guess. But there also aren't as many young girls or young boys in church anyways. But, yeah. So, it would be a fun experience next year. I think you could all agree. Going on a road trip with a bunch of, bunch of close friends, a couple close family members, um to a conference with other people your age kind of sounds ideal doesn't it i mean we'd probably have some fun at the lake as well you know got to do those water sports got to do water skiing got to do tubing it's the best right it would be amazing you know and also part of the reason why like nobody knows in my channel in person is like when my school friends did when i was in school it was really embarrassing because i'd talk about something and they'd be like okay i know that I know who you're talking about. Like, please don't talk about me. Like, you know, I'm not even mentioning them by name either. Like, it's, I'm keeping, you know, like, I haven't, like, perhaps I should ask these friends for permission to talk about them. You know, that's actually going to weigh on my conscience now. Great. I just opened Pandora's box. <laughs> you know, because I'd have to explain my YouTube channel first, and I don't really want to do that. I might never tell them. There's a, there's, I mean, my best friend I might tell eventually, but that, that's also determinant on many factors, like, I mean, you know, my best friend's a girl, so, it just, right, like, pretty much, basically what I'm saying by that is the only way I would tell her is if I was going to, like, marry her or something, because that's when, you, that's when you tell someone everything, right? But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, you know, that's unlikely. It's possible, but it's not likely, right? So just, just, just take note of that. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm a little bit odd. Whatever. I'm a boomer. No, I'm also, um, like, I long-term think in terms of finances as well. Like, I save as much of my money as I possibly can. And I think everybody should do that, especially when you're young. Like perhaps when you're 65 years old and, you know, your kids have long moved out and, you know, you'd like a motorhome so you can drive and visit all of them, well then, yeah, go ahead. That would be 
I mean, that would be just as good for you as it would be for them, because now you can visit them and hopefully grandchildren as well, so. <laughs> you know, I'd long-term think in terms of that, too, because many people in my generation would say that, well, they'd say that they don't want to have kids. That's very common in this, in, in my generation, unfortunately. And think about what that means, right? If nobody's having kids, who's going to replace us? Who's going to pay taxes in the future? Who's going to who's gonna run the world, right? It's just going to downsize. You know, the kids that do, do come around are not going to live in as um, big as a world. I mean, perhaps that's not an issue. Oh, 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 nice. That was amazing. So... Yeah, um, I enjoyed um, talking about this. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. That's a really weird way to wrap up. <laughs> Whatever, it's been a couple weeks since I've done a recording. Work, you know, preparing for school to return. I think I might do completely online school, but I mean, I kind of want to talk about that, but my pre-records are already into October, so it's like by the time I talk about that, uh, what exactly is going to happen? Oh yeah, that's right, the topic will be irrelevant, so I should not talk about it. Okay, anyways, see you.